Hey all you cool Radner runners! Today's workout is all about the posterior chain. That means we're working everything from your head down to your heels. Let's get started. We'll start with a nice chest stretch to open up the front of the body. Place one forearm against a doorway. You should have a 90 degree bend at your shoulder and at your elbow. Step forward with your inside foot and allow your chest to stretch as you breathe slowly. Hold the stretch for at least 10 seconds before changing sides. We'll start our strength work with a single arm elevated row. Grab a dumbbell or other weighted object. Hold your body at an angle and draw your elbow up towards the ceiling. Think about using your upper back and back of the shoulder to pull your arm up. You can see from the front view that this is a narrow grip, meaning that my elbow stays really close to my rib cage as I row. Remember to keep your chest open and reaching forward the whole time. For a two-arm bent over row, we'll use a neutral grip, meaning there's a little space between your arms and your torso. Grab two dumbbells, come into a nice flat back position where your torso is almost parallel to the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you pull your elbows up towards the ceiling. Maintain a neutral spine and neck the whole time. We'll target the hips with an RDL pause three different ways. We'll start in neutral, hinging from the hips, pausing at the bottom, and squeezing those glutes to come back up to standing. For version two, we'll take the toes together and the heels apart, but we'll perform the same exact motion. You might feel this in a different spot on the back of your legs, which is what we're aiming for. For version three, we'll take a slightly turned out position and do the same move, pausing at the bottom and squeezing the backs of the legs to stand up. If you've never done a weighted roll-up before, try this without weight first, and then start with a really light weight, like a three or five pound dumbbell. Hang on to the dumbbell with both hands and use your spinal muscles to roll up all the way to standing and then roll all the way back down. Soften your knees on the way down as much as you need. This move targets the spinal erector muscles those long muscles that run all the way down your spine from your neck down to your hips. It's important for runners to train these muscles back into their proper posture so that we can run with efficiency and without pain. Our final move of the day is a bird dog lift. This is gonna target all the posterior chain muscles from your fingers to your toes. Reach one arm forward and the opposite leg back from an all fours position and perform 10 lifts with the arm and leg. Remember to keep the belly button pulled in ever so slightly to support the lower back. Keep your nose pointing straight down and press out of your standing shoulder. Reach out past your fingertips and toes and try to lift your arm up behind your ear. Aim for three rounds or use one round as a warm up for a run. Great job, runners! I'll be back next week with another cross training workout.